and calm. Cool. Hi guys. Hello all. Hello humans of the human race. Welcome to my vlogs if you're watching for the first time. Welcome back to my vlogs if you're not watching for the first time. My vlog today is all about mm, buddy boxes. Da, 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 da. There's a little turtle. Buddy boxes and the Blurt Foundation, which is a foundation, a company that I came across five, four, five years ago, maybe. And I think maybe when I was in the second year of uni. I think I came across it because I saw a picture of a buddy box, which is one of these boxes, on Instagram and it had loads of cool little bits inside and um, I think that's how. And yeah, I sort of followed that, found the, the Blurt Foundation website and um, been a big, bigger appreciator of the Blurt Foundation and buddy boxes ever since. So I'm going to talk first about the foundation in general before I go on to the buddy box and open my Christmas buddy box in front of you all, how exciting. So, when you go onto their website, The Blurt Foundation, it's a lovely website, lots of bright colours, it says, we are a social enterprise dedicated to helping those affected by depression. And then it goes on later on to say, we raise awareness, provide tools and knowledge to help proactive recovery and challenge the stigma that pre prevents people reaching out for help. Yeah, you can read all about sort of how they started, where it comes from, all the people that, that, that it's a really small team actually that, that run run it, um, but you can read all about them. I think all of them, bar maybe one, have sort of gone through depression um, or, or um, tackled mental illness themselves. So it's people that know what they're talking about. They know where they're, you know, exactly what we're going through. And they've come up with such a beautiful company to, a relatable company for people to go to, to get support and help and, I think it's really nice, just the whole website is very calm and easy. It's not like hundreds of info just all in your face. It's lovely. So, um, if you go onto the website, I would highly recommend going onto the website and looking at their resources. So they have um, blogs, podcasts, just little snippets of information about like everything you would want. Um, I was just reading one about <laughs> eating healthy. I'm not gonna do it, but I was reading about it. Um, yeah, I was just reading about one about you know how eating differently can help your um, state of mind, your depression, and whatnot. And um, they've got ones about understanding depression. So if you're you know if you've just been diagnosed and you're like what, and um, they've got a really good that's a really good um, article about understanding depression. They're big on self care. They're really the whole like it comes up a lot on their website and in their um, boxes and stuff self-care caring about yourself taking time out for you and just looking after yourself really um so they've got a lot of stuff on self-care how to care for yourself different ways you can just take some time out to um do some self-care um one's about exercise one's about letting loved ones in um telling people about depression for the first time there's huge amounts of really really great info um all in little kind of blogs so it's not again it's not lengthy it's fabulous um i really really recommend going and having a look at those they're really they're lovely it's a nice little five minute read um they have a huge list of contacts for people to um the numbers to call websites you can go on to chat lines um chat rooms loads of stuff and they've got loads of different companies on there so it's you know, the ones for you know specific um mental illnesses eating disorders depression suicide hotlines they've got loads there's some really really helpful numbers and stuff on there actually um and then they kind of they do a lot of projects as well so oh, i can't remember what it's called they're currently doing a project with schools um the peer the peer project or something oh i can't remember that's bad um but yeah they're, they're going into schools and talking about depression talking about the stigma of it working with kids which i think is awesome that's so cool they do um they meet a lot up with a lot of other companies do um live facebook feeds um q and a's they do loads of stuff um and it's all on their website have a little look it's, it's a fabulous website oh so now on to my favorite bit so i think it was in my second i think it was my second year of uni um 
I couldn't afford body boxes, but I, I like I bought myself one, and it was just so helpful. Like when I'd got it, it was they call it hug in a box, um, the Blurt Foundation, and it's exactly what it is. It is just like you, you get it, and you get to sit down and take five minutes out and look through all the little bits, and they've always got like little postcards in there with a nice little quote or something, and it is like a little hug in a box. It's just five minutes out of the day, um, and then they've always got something creative or something for relaxation or to take some time out in there which is always really nice to sort of um put that aside and put it you know take some self-care time and do it sort of later on in the day or the week when you've got some time um so yeah i ordered my first one and i loved it but i was like i don't have as a as a poor acting student living in london i did not have 21 pound a month to spend so um I asked for just a three month subscription for Christmas um, in my second year of uni and my wonderful mum, being my wonderful mum, got me a six month subscription um, and got it sent to my university because in drama school you're there um, five days a week all day long so I couldn't really get it sent to my home but it was actually really nice because like on a certain day of the month I knew that like I was going to get a body box that day and I'd go to the office and be like <sighs> going to sit down at lunch and open it and it was just always like a highlight of my month. Um, and there was always, it was just always a pick me up. Drama school's hard, it's really hard. It's, it's, it's tough. So getting like one, one of these boxes a month and I knew it was like a nice little present from my mum. Um, it just, it, it really was, it was fabulous. And then even after my subscription stopped, she sent me a couple more without telling me, which um, like someone would be like, oh, you've got some posts in the office. And I'd go and it'd be a buddy box. And like, that's just the best. I didn't know it was from my mum, so I was like, oh, someone cares about me. It's okay, it's my mum. It's okay, I'm not sorry mum not upset that it was you but you know it could have been anyone it could have been anyone knowing I was going having a hard week maybe or that I'd had some bad news or was finding rehearsals tough and had sent me a body box um it's just uplifting it's lovely um I've I've bought a few for a couple of people can't say who they because then they'll know it was me that bought it for them but like if a friend's having a bit of a hard time um or you know having some issues at home or whatever um it's just really nice for them to to, to get a body box in the post. So, what is a body box? <laughs> it is a box about this big. I think this is probably my about ninth, tenth body box. Um, I love them. Not just the boxes, what's inside them too. Ha <laughs> ha. They are £21.50 a month, or you can get a three month subscription, six month subscription, 12 month subscription. That's a little bit out of your. Um, budget that's okay because they do a buddy box light um, which is £12 a month again you can subscribe to that as well so obviously the £12 a month is a little bit smaller I think you get three products in the light box and you get five products in um, the normal buddy box I've had both, they're both wonderful they're both worth the money, 100% um, it has in there what all the items cost and it always adds up, not that I'm pernickety and look through it but it always adds up um, so yeah, in the normal body box you get five products. These things are all to distress, D no de-stress, <laughs> not to distress you. <laughs> that's the that's r no <laughs> to de-stress you, <laughs> relax you, calm calm you. Um, they're creative. They're for you to take some time out. They're pampering. You know, it's all about self care. That's the that's what the five items are gonna have in common kind of thing. So I was trying to think about I've got I've had so much wonderful stuff from them, but the stuff that I could, that sort of sticks out in my mind. So the second buddy box I got had a little cross stitch in it saying, um, "You are brave," and I'd never done a cross stitch before. And it was like one weekend, and I was having some me time, and I was like, "Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna put a film on and do this cross stitch," and it started a whole company for me. I have a cross stitching company because of that one cross stitch from Buddy Box. How awesome is that? Um, I did my cross stitch and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so much fun. It was so therapeutic. Um, I really enjoyed the outcome of it. I put it in a frame and it's up in my room at home. And since then, yeah, I've um, I cross stitch. So if you want to cross stitch, I'm your girl. So um, 
one of the other oh, most amazing things I got was like this little roller ball that you put, it was like lavender and you put it all over your head um, and on your pillow before you go to sleep at night and it helps to send you to sleep, to relax you, to calm you and I, in especially when I lived in London, oh my gosh, I kept it next to my bed and I used it every single night, just all over the pillow, all over my forehead. Oh, it was lovely. Um, I remember when one of my housemates having a bit of a hard time, I took it down to her and I was like, oh, put this on your pillow and on your forehead and it'll help you sleep a bit better. Um, They've had, they've given me really calming teas, you know, like chamomile teas and stuff. One, the Christmas one, I think it was last year or two years ago, had a, this beautiful, um, es what's it called, like oils, the smelly oils that you put in like water and burn them. Smelly oil, I don't know. And that was a really calming Christmas one and I took it home for Christmas with my family that year and it was like the smell of Christmas. Um, face packs little badges that you can wear that say like little things on them um it always comes with a couple of postcards it used to have i don't i've not actually had what got one in like seven months or something so it might have changed a bit but they used to have um like postcards and it said like i'll write something nice on the back of this postcard and then like leave it somewhere in a library book or something which i thought was really adorable um i've had oh they had this really good one buddy box can you do this one again where you put this it had like chocolate on the end of a stick and you put it in water and it turned into like a hot chocolate and it was so good gonna be honest i didn't get it into the water i just ate the chocolate but it was really good can we do that one again buddy box thank you um so this one is the it, oh they always have a theme they always have a little theme so this one is um self-care Woo! and i've got a feeling so buddy uh, black foundation have made a book called the self-care project and it's all about self-care funnily enough and I've got a feeling it might be in this one and I'm very excited so let's have a little look oh this is really funny I forgot about this there's some eggs in my body box this they didn't come with it they don't come with it don't get excited I got this delivered to my work and we've run out of eggs in hobbit hole here so I stole some eggs and put them in my body box totally forgot about that disclaimer no eggs come in buddy boxes. Let me just put those on the floor. <laughs> Alrighty then. So this is what it looks like inside. Da 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 da. Oh. Blissfully soft bamboo socks we have. These socks make big steps towards sustainability thanks to their planet friendly fabric that keeps toes comfy and cozy too. They are beautiful. They are so soft. I've had their bamboo socks before. Actually, I just had to throw them away because I wore them so much because they were so comfy and soft. I need some new socks. Mum, if you're listening, I do need some new socks sent out to France. So this is a little pin with a little, little turtle on it. Is it going to focus? No, it's not. So it says, self-care champion on it. That's adorable. I'm going to put that... Lighting. I'm going to put that... Hmm. Oh, on the inside of my work coat. That'll be adorable. That's so cute. Every time you look at it, just a little reminder. Have some self-care today. Put aside five minutes. What's this? Natural foot balm stick. Organic calen calendula and eucalyptus. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. Have a little foot massage later on with that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Little foot massage. Oh, what's this one? Spacemasks.com. Interstellar relaxation. This little pouch contains a self-heating eye mask, which will transport you to another dimension, relieving tiredness, eye strain, and many other earthly tensions. The warmth comes alive as soon as you open it, so make sure you're fully reclined and ready for liftoff. That sounds fabulous. Never had a heated eye mask before. Give it a go, maybe I'll review it for you. That sounds fab. I can do that at the same time as give myself a little foot massage. I can maybe have a little moisturize, do my nails, and then put an eye mask on. That'd be lovely. Little postcard, like I said, knew it. Self-care is the opportunity to refuel so that we can give more to the world around us. That's nice, a way of thinking about it. Self-care is time to refuel. That's quite a good one. Taking, you know, five minutes or a whole evening out just to totally refuel 
give your body a bit of me time, a little massage. I'm big on foot massages, don't know if you can tell. <gasps> yes, their book is in here. But first, it's a little pamphlet. Zine. In this month's Zine, it's like a tiny, tiny little, um, what's that thing called? Magazine. And a self-care permission slip. Ooh, let's have a look. Creating a self-care sanctuary. Self-care looks different for everyone. What nourishes and comforts one person might do nothing for the next. We all need different environments, atmospheres and activities to relax and feel at ease. Oh, great. So it's just some little tips and tricks um, to do with your five senses. Sight, smell, touch, sound and taste. If you didn't know what the five senses were. Um, to help with self-care. That's really cool. Touch, coziness can be comforting. We could fill our space with blankets and pillows and pop on our comfiest clothes. Oh, uh, they know me well. Your self-care permission slip. Okay, so you just, you fill it in. I will enjoy my self-care sanctuary on this day. I will create it at this place. Whilst there, I will do the following things and I'll treat myself by. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That's cool. <gasps> da 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 Oh, yes! The Self-Care Project by Jane Hardy. And so that's the woman that founded at Blurt Foundation back in 2011. Fun fact of the day. How to let go of frazzle and make time for you. Everything you need to know about self-care, what it is, why it's important, why it's such a struggle and how to integrate it in day-to-day -day life. <gasps> yes, I've got a new book to read. That looks fab. Use the gorge below to work out how full or unfull your tank is right now. I think I'm pretty full today. I've had lots of naps. So I'm feeling good. Um, so that's a buddy box. That's awesome. I've got a book to read. I've got an, a face mask to do. I've got a little pin to pin onto my clothes to remind me to take care of myself. Um, I've got a little um, quote I can put up on my bedroom wall. Lovely. Love it. Um, I would really, really, really consider getting one. If you've got a spare, who's got a spare £21? No one. But if you've got a little bit of money to put towards yourself this month, I um, think the theme coming up is called the Llama's Pyjamas. Sounds good. Um, I would really, really consider getting one. Or if your girlfriend or boyfriend's having a bad time, buy them one, buy your mum one, buy a random stranger one, buy a friend one if they're having a bit of a hard time. Um, they're lovely. Follow the Blurt Foundation on instagram definitely do that because they have loads of quotes oh and go onto their i meant to say this go onto their website and sign up it says sign up here it's not an annoying email like you just put your name and your and your email address in and they send you the most beautiful emails like just really uplifting emails <laughs> that sounds really silly but every couple of days you get one from the blurt foundation it's like hey carla it's okay not to be okay and i'm like thank you thank you blurt email like you're right it's okay not to be okay maybe i just be down today um highly highly recommend that if you do nothing else sign up to their emails they send little self-care tips as well um yeah if you take one thing away sign up to their emails if you take two things away buy a buddy box if you take three things away send me some socks because i'm out of socks to france <laughs> thank you everybody i'll see you next vlog